Hello and welcome to a very quick video on how to generate a random password using Power Automate. First of all, what we're going to do is use the select action and use the expression range 0 to 16. This is going to denote the length of our password and all range will do is generate a list of numbers. If we use the item expression, we can take a look at that. So as you can see, all it has done is generate as a list of numbers. But we can work with that. That just denotes how long our password is going to be. In the expression, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the expression rand33, 122. And the reason that we're going to do that is we're going to pick out the ASCII characters from here, starting at character 33, which is an exclamation mark, down to character 122, which is lowercase z. Let's take a quick look at what that produces. Okay, so now we've got a random list of numbers between 33 and 122. Now we're going to expand this expression by using format number and putting in an X as the format. What this tells it to do is output that decimal number as hexadecimal. And the purpose of transforming hexadecimal so that we can use another expression on it in a moment. What we want to do is get from decimal 33 to the hex value of 21. And as you can see, we've now got a whole bunch of hexadecimal numbers. We then edit this expression again. And this time, all we're going to do is concat a percent sign onto the output of format number. Okay, so now we've got percent followed by a hexadecimal number. Next we're going to add on the expression decode URI component and wrap that around there. Now we will have a list of random characters from the ASCII table and the output will be an array. There's our list of random characters. And all we need is a simple compose action that does a join on the output of the select and joins it with an empty string and we get our random password. And if we want to increase the length of the password, we could put or decrease it for example. We can just update that range and there is our random string. Hope this is helpful. See you in the next video.